The little miracle doctor in the mountain village treats people, and the reward is actually a stunning beautiful wife. Su Chen has issued this order. Keywords of the novel My wife is a stunning female CEO with no pop-ups, my wife is a stunning female CEO. Download the full text of the text, and my wife is a stunning female CEO. Latest chapter reading Chapter 1 Are you my wife? You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 1 Are you my wife? Ah! Xiaoqin, sister.in.law is afraid. In the rural courtyard, a soft and worried voice sounded. Sister-in-law, don't be afraid. You believe me. Su Chen comforted Lu Meiyun. Then, quickly thrust a few silver needles into Lu Meiyun's back. The next moment. Ouch. It's so comfortable. Xiao Chen, it's amazing. Your acupuncture and moxibustion technique is so comfortable. Lu Meiyun lay on her stomach, unable to resist making a sound. The pleasant soft moans and the fair and plump bare back made Su Chen feel a bit dry and tongued. Xiao Chen, I heard that you are going to Binchang to treat someone's illness and also want to marry a wealthy woman, right? Lu Meiyun suddenly asked with a deep resentment. If you leave, my sister dot in dot law will fall and writhe while working. Who will give her acupuncture and moxibustion and massage? Su Chen looked bitter and said, Sister-in-law, I don't want to leave either. Who knows if that rich woman is an old woman in her forties or fifties. But this is the task my grandfather gave me. He said, let me go treat that rich woman's father and then marry her. My grandfather also ordered me to stay with that rich woman for at least a year. He said that in one year, it will be of great benefit to me. Upon hearing that it was Grandpa Su Chen's arrangement, Lu Meiyun had nothing to say. Because that old man is too powerful. The next day. Bin Cheng, at the entrance of Zhou's villa. What? Are you my wife? Su Chen looked shocked as she looked at Zhou Wanxiu, who had a graceful figure and a stunning face. She was seen with a white lining on her upper body, enveloping the surging waves that were about to emerge, the black tight-fitting buttock skirt and the two straight long legs and flesh-colored stockings are full of temptation. This woman is ten times more beautiful than the widow and sister dot in dot law in the village. Is this actually my future wife? Su Chen suddenly wanted to shed tears. Grandpa, this old bastard, has been deceiving his grandson for a lifetime, finally doing something in human affairs. Hello, I'm Su Chen. My grandfather gave it to your father. Su Chen was about to introduce herself, but was interrupted by Zhou Wanxiu's cold weather. Shut up. Zhou Wanxiu glanced at Su Chen, who was wearing tattered shoes and carrying snake skin pockets, with a hint of disdain in his eyes. I'm not interested in what you're saying. My dad already has a divine doctor treating him. You can go back now. Su Chen was taken aback for a moment. What is it? Did you get divorced before you got married? At this point. In the villa, a sudden scream of panic came from. Zhou Wanxiu's face changed and she quickly turned around and ran towards the villa. Su Chen thought about it and took steps to follow. Grandpa asked him to cure the rich woman's father, but he had to make sure the task was completed before he could leave. Su Chen walked into the villa. In the center of the hall, there lay a middle dot aged man with a pale face and a faint aura. Beside him, surrounded by two anxious women. One is the young and beautiful Zhou Wanxiu. There is also one, a crying middle dot aged beauty. A doctor like old man, constantly checking and rescuing. On the other side, there stood an old man in tang attire, with a nervous expression on his face. Several people were attracted to the middle dot aged man and didn't even notice Su Chen coming in. Dr. Sun, you are the most powerful doctor in Binchang. Please save my father. Zhou Wanxiu's eyes turned red. Sun Zhongjing hurriedly said, Miss Zhou, don't worry. With the presence of the old man, your father will definitely be in no major trouble. 
speaking. Sun Zhongjing directly picked up the silver needle and inserted it into the divine sealed hole in the middle. Aged man's chest. Accurate and stable. Su Chen also nodded. Dr. Sun seems to have something else. The second shot. Is also good. The third shot Su Chen's eyebrows furrowed slightly. This stitch doesn't seem to be the best choice, and the depth and angle are not enough. At this moment, Sun Zhongjing picked up two silver needles again, aimed at the acupoints, and was about to inject. Wait a minute. Su Chen suddenly spoke up. This patient was given a task by his grandfather, so he naturally had to take responsibility. The third shot is already wrong. If these two shots go down, the patient may have convulsions or even shock. Su Chen continued. Everyone turned around and froze. They only then noticed that there was an extra person in the villa. Didn't I ask you to leave? Why did you come in? Zhou Wanxiu stood up with an unpleasant expression on her face. The old man in Tang attire beside him frowned slightly and said, Late autumn, what's going on? Zhou Wanxiu suppressed her anger and introduced Su Chen once again. The old man in Tang attire looked delighted and said, Are you Su Chen? I am your grandfather's friend, Zhou Rongchang. Thank goodness, you arrived in time. Now, my son Pingjiang will be saved. Zhou Rongchang's face was full of surprise. However, the words fell. Humph. A cold snort came from. Sun Shini's face turned ugly and he angrily said, Since Mr. Zhou has found the Shini, then I will bid farewell. As he spoke, Sun Zhongjing was about to leave. Zhou Rongchang's expression froze, knowing he had made a slip of the tongue. He quickly apologized, Dr. Sun, I apologize for speaking recklessly. Zhou Wanxiu was even more anxious and said, Yes. Dr. Sun, don't be angry. This kid is just a country bumpkin. He doesn't know any medical skills, he just wants to make a name for himself. As she spoke, Zhou Wanxiu glared at Su Chen and said, Dr. Sun is treating my father. Please shut up. Sun Zhongjing's face looks better now. He sneered at Su Chen and was about to continue administering the needle to Zhou Pingjiang. However, Su Chen spoke again. If you continue to inject, the patient will really be cured by you. Sun Zhongjing's face was gloomy. The hand movements also stopped. Zhou Wanxiu was furious and stared at Su Chen angrily, I told you to shut up, didn't you hear me? If you continue to influence Dr. Sun to save my father, get out of here. At this point, Zhou Rongchang frowned slightly and said, Dr. Sun, why don't we listen? What does Su Chen say? Sun Zhongjing was taken aback. To his surprise, Zhou Rongchang seemed to trust the ground beetle in front of him. Grandpa. Zhou Wanxiu puzzled and said, How could you not trust Dr. Sun and instead trust this bumpkin? Zhou Rongchang's face darkened and he said, Late autumn, don't say that about Su Chen. Zhou Wanxiu looked stunned. She couldn't figure out why Grandpa was so kind to this bumpkin. Su Chen was also a bit puzzled. On the side, Sun Zhongjing's face turned ugly and he said, Mr. Zhou, do you not believe my judgment? Zhou Rongchang hesitated and said, Dr. Sun, I'm sorry. It's related to my son Pingjiang's life, and I must be cautious. Humph. Sun Zhongjing was extremely angry and snorted coldly, that's good. If Zhou Pingjiang died because of me, I will compensate you with one life. As he spoke, Sun Zhongjing looked at Su Chen and said, Kid, you keep an eye on it. You're still wet in the wet so don't rush to show off in the future. Puff. Puff. Two silver needles, insert them into Zhou Pingjiang's body again. For a while. Everyone's gaze was focused on Zhou Pingjiang. Hmm. A soft hum sounded. Zhou Pingjiang woke up leisurely. His complexion seems to have improved a lot. Zhou Wanxiu and his mother Zhao Guirong were immediately overjoyed. 
Sun Zhongjing's face lit up and he looked at Zhou Rongchang. Mr. Zhou, I don't know my medical skills. Are you satisfied? As he spoke, he also glanced at Su Qin. Zhou Rongchang's face showed embarrassment, not knowing what to say. Zhou Wanxiu said coldly, Grandpa, have you taken a look? This country bumpkin is a liar who loves to talk big. Speaking, Zhou Wanxiu walked toward Su Qin. Now, are you speechless? Hurry up and get back to your countryside. She just finished speaking. Ah! Zhou Pingjiang let out a scream. Then, his whole body twitched. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Boiling Mature Rice with Raw Rice You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Boiling Mature Rice with Raw Rice Dad Husband Ping Jiang Zhou Wanxiu, Zhao Guerong, and Zhou Rongchang all had a big change in their faces. Sun Zhongjing also had a panicked expression. The scene before him was beyond his expectations. At this point, Zhou Pingjiang was convulsing all over and foaming at the mouth. It seems like it's going to be impossible. Dr. Sun, please save my dad. Zhou Wanxiu pleaded with the Tao. Sun Zhongjing was also at a loss for a moment. Various methods to use. As a result, not only did it not alleviate the condition, but it also worsened Zhou Pingjiang's condition it's over. My lifetime of wisdom is coming to an end. Sun Zhongjing's heart was burning with anxiety. On the side, Zhou Rongchang was even more furious and roaring. Dr. Sun, didn't you say you guaranteed your life? Su Qin just reminded you, why didn't you listen? Sun Zhongjing was extremely embarrassed. Suddenly, his eyes lit up and he quickly looked at Su Qin. Now Zhou Pingjiang's reaction seems to be the same as what Su Qin said before. Is it true that Su Qin's medical skills are even higher than his own? Bite your teeth. Su. Mr. Su, I really have no choice, please. Help me. Sun Zhongjing lowered his head and his face was burning. He really has no tricks left. Su Qin looked at Sun Zhongjing. This Dr. Sun has a decent character. At least not the kind of immoral person who disregards the life and death of patients for the sake of their own face. Zhou Rongchang also reacted and quickly spoke up, Su Qin, Grandpa Zhou, please help Ping Jiang. As he spoke, Zhou Rongchang scolded Zhou Wanxiu, Wanxiu. Apologize to Su Qin quickly. Zhou Wanxiu struggled, but still lowered her head and said, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that to you earlier. Please help my dad. Zhao Guirong also looked at Su Chen with a hopeful expression on her face. Su Chen didn't talk nonsense and went straight forward. Puff. 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 Just pull out the three silver needles after Sun Zhongjing. These three stitches, your choice is wrong. It should be, Tanjong Acupoint, Zhongding Acupoint, Zigong Acupoint. Then, we also need to add Tiantu Acupoint, Huagai Acupoint, Chihu Acupoint, and Tianxi Acupoint. Whoosh! 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 As Su Chen spoke, the silver needle in his hand did not stop and accurately landed on the acupoint he mentioned. At the next moment, he condensed his true qi with his fingers and scanned each silver needle in sequence. In an instant, the tail of the silver needle trembled. Zhou Wanxiu and others didn't understand at all. But Sun Zhongjing trembled all over. This. This is probably the nine extremes life turning needle in ancient medicine. It's still the trembling needle technique. Sun Zhongjing is a person of medical ethics. At this moment, he finally understood the gap between himself and Su Qin. It's like heaven and earth. With the trembling of the silver needle, a hint of blue dot green light appeared in the needle's eye area visible to the naked eye. Eighteen hands of the ghost sect, stop people in front of the king of hell. Su Chen's hands made a strange mark and slammed it hard on Zhou Pingjiang's chest. Ah! 
Everyone was surprised. Puff. Zhou Pingjiang spat out a mouthful of black blood. The nine silver needles on his body also popped out instantly. And with it flowed a faint green liquid. What are you doing? Zhou Wanxiu suddenly pushed Su Qin. Su Qin just consumed a lot and almost stumbled when she didn't notice. Are you sick? Su Qin also has a temper. Zhou Wanxiu glared angrily, why did you hit my dad? Su Qin looked speechless. I don't need the demon king with eighteen hands to knock on the door. Can the poison in your father's body come out so easily? This woman has a big chest and no brain. At this moment. Cough. A cough sounded. Everyone turned their heads and saw that Zhou Pingjiang had already woken up and even sat up. Dad. How are you? Zhou Wanxiu was stunned. She understood that she had misunderstood Su Qin. Zhou Wanxiu turned her head to look at Su Qin, her face somewhat awkward. Me, me, I. Zhou Wanxiu wants to apologize. But looking at Su Qin's smiling face, she couldn't say anything as she spoke. What am I? Do you have a stuttering problem? Do you need me to treat it for you? Su Qin couldn't help but gasp. You stutter. Your whole family stutters. The apology on Zhou Wanxiu's face suddenly turned into anger. She didn't know why, but seeing Su Qin's face made her angry. Perhaps she had already started to dislike this Su Qin since she heard about her marriage. Dad, are you feeling better now? Zhou Wanxiu deliberately shifted the topic by showing concern for Zhou Pingjiang. Zhou Rongchang walked over to Su Chen with a smile, his gaze filled with love. Good kid. This medical skill truly deserves to be your grandfather's grandson. Su Chen smiled politely and said, Grandpa Zhou, you flattered me. Sun Zhongjing, the divine physician beside him, felt a sea of turmoil in his heart. Overcoming. Thank you so much. Joji Zhuanming Needle. Eighteen Hands of the Ghost Sect. These are all long lost medical techniques. What exactly is Su Chen's origin? At this moment, Zhou Pingjiang has been supported by Zhao Guerong and Zhou Wanxiu, standing up. Thank you, Su Chen. Zhou Pingjiang learned about the situation and stepped forward to thank him. Su Chen smiled and said, Uncle Zhou, you're welcome. I don't know why, but Su Chen felt that Zhou Pingjiang didn't seem close to him. In late autumn, give Su Chen one million as a medical deposit. Zhou Pingjiang said. Su Chen was startled. One million. Are you so generous? At this moment, Zhou Rongchang suddenly spoke up. Why are you so outspoken? Su Chen will be the husband of late autumn after that. How can he charge for his father? In law's medical treatment. The scene suddenly fell silent. Su Chen looked at Zhou Rongchang. Mr. Zhou, you really mean a lot to him. Zhou Wanxiu's face changed greatly. Zhou Pingjiang frowned and said, Dad. Although Su Chen saved me, there's no need to marry Wanxiu to him. Can't we just give him enough medical fees? Zhou Wanxiu also anxiously said, Grandpa, maybe Su Chen just happened to know this folk recipe. We don't have any feelings, how could we get married so recklessly? Zhou Rongchang shook his hand and said, Back then, I was saved by Grandpa Su Chen. This was our agreement. Do you want me to be a dishonest person? Besides, without any emotions, it's okay. In the past, your grandmother and I only met for the first time in our wedding room, and it didn't affect our relationship either. Starting tonight, you two will live together and cultivate your relationship. Su Chen was frightened by Mr. Zhou's words. This old man, too fast. And Zhou Pingjiang and Zhou Wanxiu were even more stunned. The father and daughter never expected that the old man would persist so much. Zhou Wanxiu looked dissatisfied and wanted to say something, but was stopped by Zhou Pingjiang's gaze. In the Zhou family, the old man speaks with all his might. 
Zhao Guirong saw the awkward atmosphere and smiled to smooth it out. I think Xiao Chen is doing well. He came from the countryside, honest and honest, and knows medical skills. Su Chen smiled and said, Thank you, Aunt Zhao. You have such a good eye. Zhou Wanxiu was so angry that her eyes widened and she didn't know what to say. On the side. Sun Zhongjing was envious of this scene. He gave Zhou Rongchang a deep glance. This old man has such a sharp eye. With this resurrection technique alone, Su Chen's future achievements are bound to be not simple. But now, it has been taken into the Zhou family by Zhou Rongchang. It is estimated that in the evening, he will have Zhou Wanxiu cook Su Chen's raw rice into mature rice. Sun Zhongjing couldn't help but feel a bit regretful. Sigh. Unfortunately, I don't have a beautiful granddaughter, otherwise I would have to grab it. End of this chapter. Chapter 3. I don't like men. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3. I don't like men Zhou Pingjiang's body has recovered, and the family atmosphere is relaxed. Mr. Zhou pulled Su Chen and asked about his grandfather's situation. Zhao Guerong was smiling and busy in the kitchen. And Zhou Pingjiang and Zhou Wanxiu had a secret conversation in their study. At this moment, the two of them looked serious. Dad! What about that bumpkin? I get annoyed when I see him. But my grandfather asked me to marry him and obtain a certificate, and also asked me to sleep in the same room with him. Zhou Wanxiu is very irritable. Zhou Pingjiang said helplessly, that kid's grandfather saved your grandfather back then. Your grandfather is the most important person in terms of human relationships and credibility, and I can't do anything about it. Unless. That kid gives up on his own. Zhou Wanxiu's eyes lit up. Yeah. I'll come up with a way to make that bumpkin give up on his own, that's all. Humph. He Juniing has been pursuing me for so long, and I haven't even agreed. Su Chen, he also deserves it. Zhou Wanxiu's beautiful eyes were full of disdain. All right. Zhou Pingjian waved his hand and said, At night, please take care to protect yourself. Although this kid looks honest, he has to be cautious. If he dares to act recklessly, you can just call someone. Zhou Wanxiu listened attentively. Zhou Pingjiang continued, Su Chen, let's put it aside for now. Our next step is to find out who in the company did my poisoning incident. Also, you need to take precautions. Now is a crucial moment for our Zhou family to win the bid from Tianhao Group, so we must be more careful. Zhou Wanxiu nodded. The two chatted for a while before leaving the study. As soon as he came out, he heard Mr. Zhou's cheerful laughter in the hall. Looking at Su Chen, who had a great conversation with Zhou Rongchang, Zhou Wanxiu pursed her lips. You bumpkin. You flatterer. You'll flatter my grandfather. Zhou Wanxiu deliberately did not restrain her voice. Su Chen, however, seemed to have not heard it and still had a smile on his face. To be honest, the Zhou family gave him a pretty good feeling. Mr. Zhou is very concerned about himself, Zhou Wanxiu's mother Zhao Guirong is also very friendly. This feeling of home makes Su Chen particularly warm. As for Zhou Wanxiu's resentment, he can fully understand and accept it. Just pretend not to see it. Zhou Wanxiu saw Su Chen's silly appearance and felt like she was punching cotton. It's very uncomfortable. Soon. Zhao Guirong prepared the food and served it. The family finished their meal with laughter and joy. The taste of late autumn is the same as Ju wax. Suddenly, Zhou Wanxiu's beautiful eyes lit up. She came up with a good idea. A good idea to drive away Su Chen. After finishing the meal, Zhou Rongchang spoke directly and said, In late autumn, you can accompany Su Chen around and exchange feelings. Su Chen glanced at Zhou Rongchang. The old man, awesome is a little too much. However, according to Zhou Wanxiu's foolish temper, she probably won't agree. 
However, okay. Zhou Wanxiu readily agreed. Even Zhou Pingjiang on the side looked at Zhou Wanxiu with some confusion. Zhao Guirong smiled and said, Oh, that's so good. Young people can chat more and our relationship will come out. Zhou Wanxiu had a smile on her face, but a cold smile in her heart. Hee <laughs> hee. I can't get along with this country bumpkin in this lifetime. Su Chen was surprised by Zhou Wanxiu's attitude, but didn't say anything. After meals, Zhou Wanxiu led Su Chen up and down the villa. Seems very enthusiastic. Next, we will take Su Chen to stroll outside the villa. However, just walked outside the villa. Zhou Wanxiu suddenly turned around and faced Su Chen. Su Chen, we can't be together. Have you seen Tu Quan Dagger yet? Su Chen raised her eyebrows. He spoke up and said, Actually, I never thought about being with you. Zhou Wanxiu's face lit up with joy. Su Chen continued, But the task my grandfather gave me is to marry you and stay with you for a year. After one year, there will be great benefits. My grandfather is usually very accurate in his speech. He said there will be great benefits in a year, so there must be one. The smile on Zhou Wanxiu's face disappeared. Damn it, the big benefits. Only you idiot would believe it. A year later, all the sons were born. This is what your grandfather, that old rascal, said about great benefits, right? Zhou Wanxiu was discussing incessantly, but his face still had to show sincerity. Let me be honest with you. Zhou Wanxiu deliberately appeared conflicted and said, actually. I don't like men, what I like is women. Su Chen was taken aback for a moment. Next, take two steps back. What? Do you like women? Su Chen feels a bit sore. What's going on here? Grandpa asked himself to marry this little rich woman, but she really likes women. Do you really like women? Su Chen scratched her head incessantly. Although he has great medical skills, this matter cannot be solved by medical skills. Seeing Su Chen's expression, Zhou Wanxiu felt a sense of satisfaction in her heart. Today is the happiest moment of the day. My own move knocked this bumpkin unconscious. Really, if you don't believe me, I'll prove it to you. Speaking, Zhou Wanxiu took out her phone and dialed a number. Press to turn on hands.free. After connecting, a soft and seductive female voice came from across, Dear husband, do you miss the baby? Yes, wife. We need a kiss. Zhou Wanxiu pouted. Su Chen was stunned. This is really true. I haven't gotten married yet, but my wife was taken away by another woman. Two women, in front of Su Chen, stumbled through the phone for a while. When they hung up the phone, Su Chen's face was as bitter as a bitter gourd. This wave of blood loss. So. Should you try to change it? Su Chen suggested. Zhou Wanxiu forced a smile and said, This matter is engraved in our genes and cannot be changed. Moreover, the opposite sex is for reproduction, while the same sex is true love. Su Chen, I think you can try to change it a bit. I have a bodyguard, which is very good, and I think you two are very suitable. Su Chen. Is this the case of judging people with corrupt eyes? Forget it. I don't need it anymore. Thank you. I'll go out and take a look. After speaking, Su Chen left directly. His mentality has collapsed. Watching Su Chen's figure flee, Zhou Wanxiu burst out laughing. I saw her pick up her phone and dial the number just now. Ha <laughs> ha. Ching Ching, you are truly my good friend. You performed so well just now. That bumpkin must have believed him, his face turned green. Fight me. He's still a little younger. I reckon he will give up on his own initiative soon. On the other side. Su Chen walked on the road with a melancholy expression on her face. What's going on? Grandpa asked me to marry Zhou Wanxiu and stay together for at least a year. 
but she's a lesbian, what's going on? I just said, Grandpa, this is a scam on my grandson's goods. How could he give me such a good task? Now, he doesn't know where he went and can't find anyone to consult. At this moment, Su Chen's face changed and he looked towards the corner of the street. What person? Get out. Mr. Su, it's me. In the corner, Sun Zhongjing walked out somewhat awkwardly. Su Chen was somewhat surprised. After Zhou Pingjiang recovered his health, Sun Zhongjing said goodbye and left. Why are you here again now? Dr. Sun, what do you mean by secretly following me? I blocked your financial path. Do you want to teach me a lesson? Su Chen said lightly. Before, he had heard his grandfather talk about it. Blocking people's financial path outside, such as killing parents. Can you say that you offended Sun Zhongjing because you cured Zhou Pingjiang? End of this chapter. Chapter 4 I want to worship you as a teacher. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 I want to worship you as a teacher, Mr. Su, I dare not. Sun Zhongjing smiled bitterly and said, It's the old man who can't figure out where my needle application method is wrong. I can't help but come back to ask you. Su Chen was taken aback. He didn't expect it to be this reason. I see. Su Chen nodded and said, Actually, your first two injections had the right train of thought. But your third injection was chosen the wrong meridian. Moreover, Mr. Zhou's poison mainly concentrates on the left side of the heart, so he needs to go. Su Chen didn't hide anything, so he explained it directly to Sun Zhongjing. Sun Zhongjing has good character and medical ethics, and is a good doctor. Su Chen is also willing to help him. Sun Zhongjing's face showed excitement, and his eyes became increasingly bright. Thank you, Mr. Su. Sun Zhongjing bowed deeply to Su Chen. He was worried before that Su Chen would ignore him. Unexpectedly, Su Chen was completely selfless. Excuse me, Mr. Su. Did you use the Nine Extremes Life Turning Needle and the Ghost Sex 18 Hands when treating Mr. Zhou? Sun Zhongjing asked. Su Chen nodded. This old man is quite knowledgeable. Sun Zhongjing was immediately excited when he saw Su Chen nodding. Surprisingly, these two lost ancient medical skills. During my lifetime, Sun Zhongjing was able to witness them with his own eyes and die without regret. Looking at Sun Zhongjing with an excited face, Su Chen felt a bit amused. The Nine Extremes Turning Life Needle and the Eighteen Ghost Hands, although considered good medical skills, are they not so good? He knows at least ten or eight levels of needlework and techniques of the same level. Even more advanced, his grandfather taught him a lot. It's just Zhou Pingjiang's situation, it's not serious enough yet. Mr. Su, can I learn these two magical medical skills from you? I can worship you as my teacher. As he spoke, Sun Zhongjing was about to kneel down and kowtow. Never. Su Chen quickly stepped forward to stop him. A hint of embarrassment flashed on Sun Zhongjing's face and he said, I'm sorry. Mr. Su. It was my recklessness. How can this magical medical technique be easily passed down? Su Chen shook her head and said, It's not that I don't want to teach you, but that both of these medical skills require a foundation for cultivation. You're too old to do it in time. Whether it's the Nine Extremes Life Turning Needle or the Eighteen Hands of the Ghost Sect, they all require the activation of true qi in the body to achieve the best effect. However, Sun Zhongjing is just an ordinary old man who understands medical skills and is completely unable to unleash the magic of this kind of medical skill. Sigh. Sun Zhongjing sighed and forced out a smile, saying, It doesn't matter. It's already a great blessing to be able to witness this magical medical technique with one's own eyes. Su Chen smiled and said, You can't use those two medical skills. But in a while, I can organize some medical techniques that don't require true qi and discuss them with you. The words fell. 
the disappointment on Sun Zhongjing's face instantly disappeared, and his face was filled with excitement. What? Mr. Su, are you serious? Thank you. Sun Zhongjing quickly bowed to Su Chen and presented his disciples' salute. This time, Su Chen did not stop. Teacher, preaching, imparting knowledge, and resolving doubts. Although he was discussing with Sun Zhongjing, in reality, he wanted to teach him some skills, so he could naturally accept his gratitude. Sun Zhongjing was extremely excited. The Zhou family couldn't see it, but he knew that Su Chen's medical skills were absolutely groundbreaking. As long as he can learn a little bit, it is also a great opportunity. Ding Lingling Sun Zhongjing's phone suddenly rang. He apologized to Su Chen and answered the phone. What? Suddenly, Sun Zhongjing shouted out in silence. Su Chen looked over and saw that Sun Zhongjing's face was gloomy. What's wrong? Su Chen asked. Mr. Su, I have received a strange case in my clinic and I must hurry back now. However, I'm a bit uncertain. I'm not sure, could you come over with me and take a look? Sun Zhongjing asked. Su Chen nodded. Soon. The two of them arrived at Sun Zhongjing's clinic. Rejuvenation Hall. Just as the two of them stepped into the door, a middle dot aged figure rushed over. Dr. Sun, where did you go? Why did it take so long to come back? If my daughter has any ups and downs, I. The middle dot aged man's face was full of anxiety and anger. Between words, it's very impolite. Sun Zhongjing's face darkened. Mr. Qin. I am a doctor, but I am not your personal doctor. If Mr. Qin has any objections to me, you can go find another doctor. Unlike the respect in front of Su Chen, Sun Zhongjing was confident and proud at this moment. As one of the top three divine doctors in Bincheng, he has this qualification. Qin went in and knew he had made a slip of the tongue and quickly said, Dr. Sun, I'm sorry. My daughter is critically ill and I spoke recklessly in a hurry. Please forgive me. Please save my daughter, I apologize to you. Sun Zhongjing's face looks better. First, go and see Miss Qin. In the single room, a young woman with a beautiful appearance and a hot figure lay on the hospital bed. The face of the angel and the figure of the devil are not inferior to Zhou Wanxiu, and their figure seems to be even better. Su Chen glanced at Qin Wentian. I really didn't expect this chubby man to have such a top dot notch daughter. At this moment, Qin Yao Yao, although fainting, was covered in cold sweat and trembling all over. On her fair neck, an unhealthy blush appeared, spreading downwards and heading straight towards the peak. Sun Zhongjing quickly stepped forward to inspect it. Then, he picked up a silver needle and began to apply the needle for treatment. Su Chen's eyebrows furrowed slightly. Sun Zhongjing's method only addresses the symptoms, not the root cause. Moreover, it may also trigger the condition. But Sun Zhongjing didn't speak up, and he didn't want to overstep his responsibilities. Ah! Qin Yao Yao's pretty face was slightly wrinkled, and a painful expression appeared. Her trembling body also intensified. Dr. Sun, what is the situation with my daughter? Qin went in quickly drank and asked. Sun Zhongjing's face was ugly and he didn't know how to answer. Su Chen spoke up and said, Dr. Sun, let me give it a try. Sun Zhongjing's eyes lit up and he quickly stepped aside, okay. Okay. Su Chen stepped forward, picked up scissors, and was about to cut open Qin Yao Yao's chest clothes. On the side, Qin went in suddenly became furious and stepped forward to push Su Qin away. Bastard! What do you want to do? Sun Zhongjing, will you give my daughter to your disciple to practice? Qin went in was furious beyond control. Sun Zhongjing quickly explained, Mr. Qin, Dr. Su is not my disciple. His level is higher than mine. I cannot handle your daughter's condition, so I need to ask him to take action. Nonsense. Qin went in glared and said, 
is this just a little kid who knows medical skills? Didn't you see that? He just wanted to take advantage of my daughter. Su Chin said coldly, if you want to cure it, just go away if you don't want to cure it. Sun Zhongjing was taken aback. Qin went in and didn't even react. As the person at the tip of the Binqing pyramid, he has not been treated like this for a long time. Good. Good. My medical skills are not good, and my temper is not bad. Qin went in and laughed back angrily, when I cure my daughter's illness, I will come back to seek advice. Speaking, Qin went in and is going to take his daughter away. Medical skills are not good. Su Chen sneered and spoke lightly. Your daughter has been feeling unwell since ten days ago. At first, she occasionally fainted due to chest tightness. Three days ago, she fell asleep without waking up. At the hospital, she probably couldn't detect any abnormalities, but she had a cold sweat on her head, cold hands and feet, and occasional convulsions. Today, it suddenly worsened. Is that right? Qin Wentian's face changed and his footsteps stopped. End of this chapter. Chapter 5, Then I'll Touch It Back. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 5, Then I'll Touch It Back Su Chin continued. Your daughter can still live for about 30 minutes. I hope you can find a divine doctor in time to cure her. Otherwise, you'll have to wait until after her funeral and then trouble me again. Su Chen's words fell. Qin Wentian's body trembled fiercely. All the symptoms that Su Chen mentioned earlier are correct. Qin Wentian suddenly panicked. His daughter is his flesh and blood. The next moment. Qin Wentian's attitude changed greatly, and he turned to plead with Su Chen. Mr. Su, I am blind. Please forgive me and help my daughter with the treatment. Su Chen's expression was cold, completely ignoring Qin Wentian. Qin Wentian was very anxious and said, Mr. Su, I will pay a high fee for diagnosis. How much do you want? I will give you as much as you want. I'm not short of money. Su Chen's expression remained calm. Qin Wentian, relying on his social status and money, is arrogant and rude, judging people based on their appearance. Su Chen is going to tell him through practical actions. Even if your family is rich and powerful, I can control your life and death. Ah! Another painful moan came from Qin Yao Yao's daughter's mouth. Qin Wentian's heart is like a knife cutting. He gritted his teeth. Bang! Qin Wentian knelt directly on the ground. Please, Dr. Su, save my daughter's life. I, Qin Wentian and the Qin family, are at your disposal and at your disposal. After speaking, his head lowered deeply. Su Chen was somewhat surprised. He originally thought that people like Qin Wentian would have lofty eyes and never admit their mistakes. I didn't expect to take this step for my daughter. Sun Zhongjing didn't want the situation to escalate, so he spoke up and advised, Mr. Su, if Mr. Qin cares, it will be chaotic. He has no intention of offending you. For the sake of the doctor's kindness, please save Miss Qin. Qin went in, kneeling on the ground, gave Sun Zhongjing a grateful glance. Finally, Su Chen nodded. All right. You guys go out. I'll help Miss Qin treat her. Upon seeing Su Chen's agreement, Qin went in quickly thanked him and finally pulled Sun Zhongjing out to wait. At this moment, he didn't care whether Su Chen was taking advantage of his daughter. My life is almost gone, how can I still care about these things? In the room, only Su Chen and Qin Yao Yao remained. Su Chen stepped forward and cut open Qin Yao Yao's chest clothes. Suddenly, a large snow dot white area emerged. Lei Shi's small clothes are worth wrapping around a small part. This visual impact is even more fierce than Lu Meiyun's sister. In. Law in the village. Although Su Chen is a doctor, he is also a strong willed man. Faced with this kind of stimulation, one cannot help but feel dry mouth and tongue. 
Holding her breath and concentrating, Su Chen's eyes were clear when she opened them again. Nine extremes turning life needle. Su Chen waved his hand and raised it. Nine silver needles flew out simultaneously. Almost at the same time, they are accurately positioned. In an instant. Red blood streaks, mixed with black, began to spread from near Qin Yao Yao's collarbone. Su Chen's left and right hands landed on Qin Yao Yao. Start helping her transport qi and blood, and remove toxins. Accompanied by Su Chen's hand sliding over Qin Yao Yao's chest, the colors of the nine silver needles quickly turned from silver to red and then black. Finally, it just bounces off like a silver needle. Qin Yao Yao's cold sweat and trembling stopped. Su Chen's gaze carefully examined. There is no abnormality in the neck, collarbone, and... All right. Stop work. Su Chen breathed a sigh of relief. At this moment, a soft and sticky voice sounded, How does it feel to the touch? Very good. Su Chen replied casually. He suddenly looked up and looked at Qin Yao Yao. Sure enough, Qin Yao Yao was blinking her big eyes and staring at him tightly at this moment. There was no panic, no shouting, and even a slight smile in my eyes. Su Chen felt uneasy when Qin Yao Yao saw her and quickly said, I'm here to treat you. It's necessary. Also, I didn't cut open your part. Don't feel guilty, little brother. I didn't blame you. Qin Yao Yao smiled at the corner of her mouth. I'll go get you a formal coat. Su Chen quickly left. If Qin Yao Yao shouts loudly, Su Chen doesn't feel anything. But she was so natural this woman has a bit of an evil nature. Su Chen opened the door and came out. Qin went in, who was anxiously waiting, quickly welcomed him. Before he could speak, Su Chen said, I've already been saved. Go prepare a coat for your daughter. Qin went in was immediately overjoyed. I found a piece of clothing and rushed into the room. And Su Chen wrote a prescription and handed it to Sun Zhongjing asking him to prepare the medicine for Qin Yao Yao. Finally, Su Chen couldn't help but ask, Dyar. Sunday. Don't call me a miracle doctor, Zhe Sha is old and decaying. Sun Zhongjing was quite awkward. Su Chen smiled and said, Then according to age, I'll call you Sun Lao, and you can call me Su Chen. Sun Zhongjing didn't dare to agree, but thinking of Su Chen's medical skills, he still smiled and agreed. This kind of address can bring you closer to Su Chen. Sun Lao, what's going on with this Qin Yao Yao inside? Su Chen still couldn't resist and spoke up to inquire. She is the only daughter of Qin Wentian, the CEO of Tianhao Group, and Qin Wentian is also the president of the Binqing Chamber of Commerce. She can be said to be the princess of the entire Binqing business world. Qin Wentian is a daughter slave and loves her the most. So, Qin Yao Yao's personality is quite lawless. As he spoke, Sun Zhongjing gave Su Chen a smirk and said, Did she joke with you? Su Chen hurriedly said, No, no. Sun Zhongjing smiled and did not continue to inquire. Quickly, Qin Wentian and Qin Yao Yao stepped out. The clothes on Qin Yao Yao's body were not hers, but she still wore a different style. There is a temptation to mix and match. The two walked up to Su Chen. Qin Wentian bowed deeply to Su Chen and said, Thank you, Dr. Su, for saving my daughter. If there is any mission in the future, Qin Wentian will have nothing to say. Speaking, Qin Wentian took out a bank card. There are five million yuan in this, which can be considered as my daughter's diagnosis fee. Please make sure Mr. Su accepts it. Qin Wentian respectfully handed it over. Su Chen was taken aback. In this big city, making money is fast. I usually pay 5 to 10 yuan for medical treatment in the village. Su Chen originally wanted to refuse, but Qin Wentian insisted repeatedly, so Su Chen had no choice but to accept it. On the side, Sun Zhongjing also handed the selected medicinal herbs to Qin Wentian. 
Dad, why don't you get in the car first? I need to talk to my lifesaver for a while. Qin Yao Yao suddenly spoke up. Qin Wentian was taken aback for a moment, then seemed to realize something. He smiled and glanced at Su Chen, then turned around and left. Mr. Qin, let me tell you about decocting medicine. Sun Zhongjing found a reason and ran away. Duh. Duh. Qin Yao Yao twisted her waist and walked forward, standing close to Su Chen. The distance between the two is less than 20 centimeters. Su Chen felt a bit unnatural, but she persevered without retreating. My little brother's name is Su Chen, right? Thank you for saving me. Qin Yao Yao exhaled like a orchid. Su Chen can even feel the sweet scent she brings. At this moment, no matter how strong Su Chen's strength, medical skills, or magical abilities are, they are all useless. Su Chen's heart skipped a beat without any effort. You're too polite. Su Chen took a step back. Qin Yao Yao blinked her watery big eyes and followed a step. She leaned closer to Su Chen again and pouted, saying. But if you touch someone, how can we calculate this account? Su Chen was taken aback for a moment. Before Su Chen could react, Qin Yao Yao's little hand ran over his chest. Then I'll touch it back. Qin Yao Yao smiled and turned around to leave. Su Chen, you are so cute. I will come to play with you again in the future. Leave a sentence, Qin Yao Yao left. Su Chen was a bit confused, and then a bitter smile appeared at the corner of her mouth. This sister is really a weirdo. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Do you want to have another bowl of rice? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Do you want to have another bowl of rice? Qin Yao Yao and Qin Wentian left. Su Chen was still a bit stunned. This sister's skills are beyond Su Chen's understanding. Su Chen, have you been scared by Qin Yao Yao? Ha ha ha. On the side, there came Sun Zhongjing's disrespectful laughter. Su Chen glared at the old man in frustration. Sun Lao, has Qin Yao Yao's style of behavior always been like this? Sun Zhongjing smiled and said, Qin Wentian holds a very high position in Bincheng, and Qin Yao Yao is the apple of his eye, so she has always been quite reckless. The second generation of Bincheng are afraid of encountering her, dare not hit her, provoke but not provoke her, it's a headache. So, in Bincheng, Qin Yao Yao is known as the Qin Fairy. Qin Fairy. Su Chen smiled. This nickname is quite appropriate. What's wrong? Do you have feelings for Qin Yao Yao? You can talk to Qin Wentian. I estimate he should be quite willing. Sun Zhongjing said. Su Chen shook his head and said, forget it. Sun Zhongjing said, don't misunderstand Qin Yao Yao either. Although her speech and behavior are a bit reckless, she is also a person who keeps herself clean and has never been rumored. Sun Lao, I understand. Su Chen smiled, and I can see that she is still a virgin at the moment. Besides, you know, I have a wife now. Sun Zhongjing patted his head and said, Look at my brain, I almost forgot about the Zhou family girl. Not bad, Zhou Chiwan is also one of the four charming flowers in Bincheng. Xiao Chen, how lucky you are. Su Chen didn't answer the question, but she was full of roast. Lucky shit. What four delicate flowers, they like women thinking of Zhou Wanqiu, Su Chen quickly checked the time. Son, I have to go back. Sun Zhongjing sent Su Chen back to the Zhou family. On the other side. On Qin Wentian's car. Dad, can I host the Qin family business banquet this time? Qin Yao Yao asked. Qin Wentian was a bit puzzled, didn't you find it troublesome to have you host in the past? Qin Yao Yao said, hee hee. Before, people were afraid of wasting their brains. My daughter only wanted to be a woman with big breasts and no brain. Qin Wentian had a black line on his head and didn't know what to say. However, 
he has long been accustomed to his daughter's style. What exactly do you want to do? Qin Wentian asked. Qin Yao Yao coquettishly said, they just want to introduce my life.saving benefactor to everyone. After all, they are the ones who have saved me. If someone who doesn't have eyes in the future bullies them, wouldn't that slap me in the face? Do you think Su Chen? Qin Wentian paused and smiled, actually, I also have this idea. I heard from Sun Zhongjing that Zhou Pingjiang was poisoned in the Zhou family, and he also took action to solve it. Such medical experts must maintain good relationships in their daily lives and save their lives in critical moments. Qin Wentian had a slight feeling and said. Qin Yao Yao was quite excited and said, Thank you dad. Then, I'll go pick him up. Don't provoke others. He's just a rural young man who doesn't care about our family's power. If you provoke him to play with you, you won't even cry. Qin Wentian reminded him seriously. Just now, Su Chen's lack of oil and salt forced him to kneel and plead. This matter left a deep impression on him. In the past, Qin Yao Yao's reliance on scaring other men. The Qin family. May not have been effective for Su Chen. Qin Yao Yao chuckled and said, what's there to that? The grace of saving lives, let's promise each other with our own lives. I've touched his chest muscles, it's very touching. Qin went in. He suddenly didn't want to talk to his daughter. On the other side. Su Chen returned to the Zhou family villa. Su Chen, you're back. Zhou Wanxiu forced a fake smile on her face and welcomed her. Her enthusiastic attitude surprised Zhou Rongchang, who was sitting in the hall drinking tea. Zhou Rongchang said to Zhao Guirong, do you see that? I'll just say, emotions can be cultivated. Look, Wan Xiu and Su Chen went out to chat and became very familiar when they returned. Zhao Guirong smiled and nodded, that's it. Beside Zhou Pingjiang, there was some confusion. When he was discussing with his daughter today, she was still extremely disgusted with this country boy. Why is this attitude now? Zhou Wanxiu chuckled inwardly when she heard the conversation between her grandfather and mother. Will I develop feelings for this bumpkin? It's impossible in this lifetime. She just wanted to see if Su Chen had chosen to give up voluntarily. Seeing Zhou Wanxiu welcoming her, Su Chen nodded and gestured. Then, they walked up to Zhou Rongchang and drank tea and chatted together. Zhou Wanxiu was a bit confused. She thought that when Su Chen returned from this trip, she would take the initiative to speak up and cancel her marriage. As a result, after waiting for a long time, Su Chen didn't even mention this matter. Perhaps this country boy is looking for a suitable time. Zhou Wanxiu thought. In the evening. Dinner time. Zhou Wanxiu waited left and right, but Su Chen didn't mention returning to the countryside. She couldn't help but say, Su Chen, do you have something to say to Grandpa? Everyone was taken aback and looked at Su Chen. Su Chen is also very puzzled. What do I have to say to Grandpa? Zhou Wanxiu kept blinking at Su Chen and pouting at Zhou Rongchang. Su Chen was stunned for a moment, looked at Zhou Rongchang, and then, suddenly realized. A smile appeared on Zhou Wanxiu's face. At the next moment, Su Chen picked up the pickled vegetables in front of Zhou Rongchang. Grandpa, as you're getting older, you can't eat too much pickled vegetables as it's prone to high blood pressure. Zhou Wanxiu's smile solidified. Zhou Wanxiu. Salted vegetables, your uncle. Am I asking you to talk about pickled vegetables? Zhou Rongchang chuckled and said, Okay. Take it, take it. Ha <laughs> ha. With a miracle doctor at home, it's good, and our lifestyle will become healthier. Zhou Wanxiu bit her silver teeth lightly and vaguely reminded, Su Chen, Xu Qin, oh, it's a lucky love in the tube. Late autumn, what are you muttering to yourself? Su Chen hadn't replied yet, but Zhou Rongchang noticed. Zhou Wanxiu blushed and denied, no. I mean. I still want to serve a bowl of rice. 
If you want to eat an extra bowl, go ahead and serve it. What's so embarrassing? I've always thought you shouldn't lose weight, eating so little every day, said Zhou Rongchang. Su Chen picked up Zhou Wanxiu's rice bowl and said, I'll go and serve it for you. After speaking, he went to serve Zhou Wanxiu a big bowl full of sharps. Look, Xiao Chen takes care of you so much and has already prepared your meal for you. Zhou Rongchang smiled and said, This is Xiao Chen's intention. Since it's served, we need to finish it. Okay, Grandpa. Zhou Wanxiu looked at the rice that could be divided into two bowls in front of her, wanting to cry without tears. She glared at Su Chen and then fiercely picked up rice in her mouth. It seems that she didn't eat rice, but Su Chen. A difficult meal to finish. Zhou Wanxiu felt like her stomach was about to explode. By the way. Late autumn, take Xiao Chen to the company tomorrow and arrange a job for him. The salary doesn't matter, the key is to be closer to you to facilitate your relationship development. Zhou Rongchang instructed. Zhou Wanxiu twitched at the corner of her mouth, but still nodded. Okay, when we get to the company, I have plenty of ways to deal with you, you bumpkin. Zhou Wanxiu glanced at Su Chen and supported her waist to the second floor bedroom. She's eating too much. Su Chen and the old man had tea again in the lobby on the first floor. Time flies by. Zhou Rongchang felt a bit sleepy and said, I'm too old to stay up late. I'm ready to go to bed. I've already asked Wanxiu to make the bed, work hard, and try to give birth to a chubby grandson for me as soon as possible. Su Chen looked bewildered. How much kindness his grandfather had towards Zhou Rongchang made him so confident in himself. However, Su Chen felt a bit bitter in her heart. I'm afraid this old man doesn't know yet. Su Chen's egg hurts. The old man went to bed, and Su Chen had no choice but to go upstairs. This doesn't affect whether she is a beautiful woman. What would be the experience of sleeping in the same bed with her? Su Chen is very curious. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Do I sleep outside or inside? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 7 Do I sleep outside or inside? Zhou Family Villa, Second Floor. In Zhou Wanxiu's bedroom, there came a sound of conversation. Ching Ching, that rural bumpkin's face collapsed in the afternoon. After returning, nothing happened, I really don't know what he thought. At dinner, I hinted to him to cancel his marriage with his grandfather, but he pretended not to understand. What a despicable thing. My grandfather also asked me to take him to the company tomorrow and arrange a position for him that I often interact with. I'm so annoyed. I get annoyed when I see him. Zhou Wanxiu, wearing a spacious bathrobe and full of depression, kept telling her best friend Roast about the video. Tonight, that bastard is still sleeping in the same room as me. What if he insults me? On the phone screen, a youthful and beautiful beauty covered her mouth and smiled, what are you afraid of? I heard that if a man is moisturized, he will grow bigger. Don't you always feel like you're not big enough? Let this country bumpkin nourish you, perhaps you can become a little cow, comparable to that Qin Yao Yao. Ah ah. Zhou Wanxiu blushed with embarrassment and threw herself onto the bed, wishing to pull her best friend out of the screen and give her a lesson. You hate it. You're just a little cow. The two of them frolicked for half a day. Zhou Wanxiu crawled out of bed and stood straight on the ground. She didn't care about the messy clothes on her body, but extended three fingers and said as if taking an oath. I promise to give him a lesson in the company tomorrow, so that this bastard can understand the difficulties and retreat. Mmm, come on. Guan Qingqing encouraged. At this moment. The bedroom door suddenly opened. Su Chen's figure appeared at the door. Two people with four eyes facing each other. Su Chen was stunned. Because of Zhou Wanxiu in front of me, her outfit is really provocative. I saw her wearing a spacious bathrobe, but due to the rolling and tossing while chatting on the bed, 
she revealed a large snow dot white area. After taking a shower, Zhou Wanxiu became accustomed to playing in a vacuum. This time, let Su Chen take a closer look. Ah! Zhou Wanxiu screamed and then cursed loudly. Don't you know how to knock on the door? Get out! Zhou Wanxiu was angry and angry, shouting and cursing loudly. Su Chen felt a bit guilty and quickly withdrew. Zhou Wanxiu was so angry that she quickly got dressed. After a while, when Su Chen knocked on the door again and entered, the rosy glow on Zhou Wanxiu's face still hadn't completely faded. Do you have any qualities? Do you know that you should knock on the door first when entering? Do you understand respecting women? Zhou Wanxiu was like a barrage of bullets. Su Chen felt guilty and had no choice but to let her vent her anger. After a while, Zhou Wanxiu's tone finally calmed down. Didn't I tell you? I'm Lala, we can't be together. Why didn't you cancel this marriage with Grandpa during dinner? Zhou Wanxiu asked. Su Chen calmly said, let me be with you. It was a task given to me by my grandfather. He said there would be great benefits if I were with you for a year. But he didn't tell me what to do if you're gay. So, I can only be with you for now. When I find him, I'll ask him what to do. Zhou Wanxiu looked speechless and said, Where is your grandfather now? Su Chen shook her head and said, I don't know. In the past, he often disappeared and usually came back in a few months. Of course, there were also times when he only came back after three years. Zhou Wanxiu rolled her eyes. Three years. Children can even call themselves mothers. No way. This move of homosexuality seems to only ensure that this country bumpkin does not take advantage of themselves. But he still has to cling to himself, how should we solve this? It seems that we still need to find a solution within the company. After making up her mind, Zhou Wanxiu was too lazy to pay attention to Su Chen and lay down directly in bed. All right. Sleep. I'm warning you. Be honest tonight. I am like a man in my heart. If you want to take advantage of me, you should know the man and strive to be a cavalry man, add more men to the man, and lock in the man with a strong man. Zhou Wanxiu warned. Su Chen's goosebumps are almost on the rise as she said. Stop talking. Su Chen quickly interrupted and asked, do I sleep outside or inside? Zhou Wanxiu's eyes turned white as Su Chen said, are you thinking about farting? Where do you sleep? Zhou Wanxiu pointed to the corner. Su Chen only then noticed that there were folded blankets, bedding, and a sleeping bag in the corner. That's pretty good. A relaxed smile appeared on Su Chen's face. In fact, he also felt uneasy about sleeping with Lala, Zhou Wanxiu. It's even better not to sleep together. Zhou Wanxiu became angry when she saw Su Chen's expression. I don't want to sleep with you, a country bumpkin, okay. What does your expression of happiness mean? Tomorrow, I will definitely have someone teach you a good lesson. With all kinds of resentment towards Su Chen, Zhou Wanxiu tossed and turned for a long time before falling asleep. And Su Chen, on the other hand, meditated and practiced until late at night before lying down to sleep. This is his habit from childhood to adulthood. Early the next morning, Zhao Guerong brought Su Chen a new suit from Zhou Pingjiang. The size is relatively short and fat, but fortunately Su Chen has a good skeleton and doesn't look abrupt when worn. Xiao Chen looks so handsome in this outfit. It's almost too late for him in autumn. Zhou Rongchang smiled. Zhou Wanxiu was so angry that she almost bit off her chopsticks. Grandpa is too biased. This bumpkin is your biological grandson, right? I don't deserve him, so let him quickly roll back to the prestigious countryside. Zhou Wanxiu was full of resentment, and the more he looked at Su Chen, the more angry he became. Eat breakfast. Zhou Rongchang reminded, in late autumn, remember to find a job for Xiao Chen that you have more contact with, and cultivate relationships. 
Zhou Wanqiu sneered in her heart and agreed, okay. Grandpa. He he. When he arrives at the company, I have him work as a security guard at the door, basking in the sun. In this way, you can greet me every day and have a lot of contact. Zhou Wanqiu thought to herself. On the side, Zhao Guerong suddenly interjected. I remember there was a secretary's office in the company, filled with assistant secretaries from top management like you. You could have Xiao Qin serve as your secretary and hold a temporary position in the secretary's office. What kind of work or meetings do you have? You can also take him with you. Zhou Wanxiu was taken aback. Yes. This is great. That's it. Zhou Rongchang directly agreed. Zhou Wanxiu forced out a smile and said, Okay. After dinner, Zhou Wanxiu was about to drive Su Chen to the company. Zhou Rongchang reminded again, By the way, when you have time today, you too have obtained your marriage certificate. When you come back, I need to see the certificate. Zhou Wanxiu didn't respond and just stepped on the accelerator to leave. She seemed to be venting her anger, driving extremely fast. She wanted to see Su Chen's panicked appearance. However, Su Chen remained motionless like a clock. Zhou Wanxiu himself was scared to death, but Su Chen still had no emotional fluctuations. Dead face. Stupid and bold. Zhou Wanxiu was extremely angry. Su Chen, I want to make a three-chapter agreement with you. Zhou Wanxiu said. Su Chen said calmly, speak up. Zhou Wanxiu spoke up and said. Firstly, in the future, you cannot reveal our relationship to anyone. You cannot use me as your capital to show off. Secondly, in the future, when entering or leaving places with me, you must knock on the door, without my permission, you are not allowed to touch my things. Thirdly, we cannot interfere in each other's emotional lives, but we must keep secrets in front of our grandparents and not be discovered by them. Su Chen thought about it and said, Okay. He still wants to stay away from this homosexual in his heart. Upon hearing Su Chen's quick agreement, Zhou Wanxiu was somewhat surprised. However, at least agreeing is a good thing. Before the car arrived at the parking lot, Zhou Wanxiu quickly found a corner to stop. Get off. Don't let anyone see you, you came in my car. Su Chen was speechless for a moment. What should I do when I go home? When the time comes, come back to this place and wait, I'll pick you up, won't you? Zhou Wanxiu said. Su Chen nodded and said, Okay, remember, don't be late. I. Zhou Wanxiu rolled her eyes in anger. Together, Su Chen regarded himself as his driver. Okay. You wait, probably you don't want to come to the company after today. Humph. Zhou Wanxiu gritted her teeth and whispered in secret. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Teaches you how to serve people. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 8 Teaches you how to serve people. Su Chen stood at the entrance of Zhou's catering group. A woman in a work uniform greeted her. Are you Mr. Su Chen? I am Li Fengjiao, the HR manager. Mr. Zhou asked me to take you through the onboarding process. Su Chen nodded. Originally, Zhou Wanxiu had already arranged everything. Su Chen followed Li Fengjiao, took what she needed, and then walked towards the secretary's office. Wait for the office of the secretariat. Before entering the door, there was a loud noise coming from inside. Come on. Have some more today. No, I was drunk all morning. Today, I have to play a game to advance. Can you keep your voice down? I chatted with my sister for a while last night, so I have to go to bed in the morning. Stop talking, licking dog fat, you must have been watching movies and masturbating all night. Bang! The office door opens. Su Chen frowned. Inside, there was chaos. Various documents are scattered everywhere, including snack bags, wine bottles, playing cards, and garbage bags. 
If it weren't for knowing beforehand that this was the office, Su Chen would have thought it was the bedroom of some otaku. There are a few employees sitting honestly on the workstation. But there are still four or five people, some dancing with their feet on chairs, some exercising with dumbbells, some dancing in place one of them even dyed a head of silver hair. Seeing Li Fengjiao and Su Chen coming in, everyone immediately looked over. Ahem. This is a new member of your secretariat, the new assistant secretary of Mr. Zhou, Su Chen. Zhang Yu, teach him. After speaking, Li Fengjiao turned around and left. It seems that staying in this place for an extra minute would make her uncomfortable. The few people sitting at the workstation looked at Su Chen with envy. The secretariat department is both important and unimportant. The most important thing is to see which leader you connect with. If it's Zhou Pingjiang or Zhou Wanxiu's secretary, and you perform well, you can be arranged to become a leader in a department later. If it is shared by everyone, then you are a runner. Moreover, there are many playboy descendants of middle and senior leaders in the company in the secretariat. These guys are really unable to achieve results in other departments. Finally, it can only be arranged to the secretariat, at least these leaders can personally watch. Even Zhou Wanxiu, at the beginning, was also Zhou Pingjiang's secretary and came from a temporary position in the secretariat. So, in the eyes of these honest employees, Su Chen is the kind of person who may take a step to the sky. The other few unformed people, upon hearing Su Chen's name, exchanged a glance and their eyes lit up. You guys, go out first and close the door. Let's give the new students a lesson first. Come in in half an hour. No one can call and drive. The young man with silver hair instructed. The other employees were taken aback and quickly left, closing the door. Su Chen's face remained calm. Looking at the remaining four people in front of me. A silver-haired killer mat. A fat guy. A fierce man wearing fitness short sleeves and revealing his muscles. There is also a little spicy girl wearing leather clothes and pants. What are these people special about? They look like secretaries. It's almost like a little thug. Kid, my name is Zhang Yu. You will become a member of our secretariat in the future. However, when entering our secretariat, you need to understand the rules and be able to serve people. Do you understand? Zhang Yu sneered coldly. Su Chen's expression remained indifferent, I don't understand. How about you teach me? Yo. Zhang Yu sneered and said, it looks like you're looking for some discomfort. He finished speaking. The chubby guy, fitness guy, and little girl all gathered around. The fitness man picked up a dumbbell and held it up while sneering at Su Chen. Kid, I'll give you one last chance, otherwise you're ready to kneel down and sing, Conquest, for me. Zhang Yu shook his silver hair. If you want to be beaten, hurry up. Su Chen said impatiently. Damn it. Hit him. Pretend to be forced. A few people rushed toward Su Chen in anger. Bang. 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 Three loud noises. Kill Mate Zhang Yu, fat man, fitness man, and fly out directly. I knocked down several tables one after another before stopping. The little girl was scared and confused. The wine bottle I picked up in my hand also fell to the ground. Big. Big brother, I'm just trying to scare you. The little girl's mouth was trembling. Zhang Yu, the chubby guy, and the fitness guy were also full of pain and groaning. Su Chen took a step forward. The three of them were so scared that they almost wet their pants. Zhang Yu said sternly and inwardly, Su Chen, you're dead. My father is a senior executive in the company, so if you kneel down and sing, conquer it now, I'll. He stopped before finishing his words. Because Su Chen picked up the dumbbell on the ground and then forcefully folded it in the middle. The dumbbell is bent. Zhang Yu swallowed deeply and foamed. The fat guy and fitness guy are also dumbfounded. What did you just say? 
Su Chen glanced at Zhang Yu. I, I said, I want to sing, conquer, to you, big brother. Zhang Yu quickly changed his tune. Su Chen said lightly, go ahead then. I was conquered by you like this, drinking the poison you had hidden. Zhang Yu knelt on the ground with a bitter expression on his face and started howling. Outside the secretariat office. Several employees looked at each other as they listened to the singing coming from inside. Su Chen probably thought he was Mr. Zhou's secretary and didn't agree with them, so he was played a trick by them. What's the use of not being convinced? Now it's time to obediently sing, conquer, dot. But when I hear this voice, it feels a bit familiar to me. Why does it sound like Zhang Yu's voice? How could it be? A few people smiled and thought it was impossible. And people from other departments have become accustomed to the strange scenes in the secretariat. In the office. Zhang Yugan finished howling a song. Standing with the other three people again, they were too scared to speak. Come on. Let's talk about it. What's going on? Su Chen asked. Zhang Yu quickly spoke up and said, Big brother, we didn't do it on purpose. It was Sister Chiu who asked us to do this. She used to be the boss of our secretariat, and now she's even our boss. Zhou Wanchiu. Su Chen suddenly understood. This woman probably wants to make herself quit in this way. But with just these few goods, that's still too imaginative. Big brother, we were wrong. We dare not dare again. The other three people also quickly admitted their mistakes. What if Zhou Wanchou asks? Su Chen asked. Zhang Yu rolled his eyes and said, Let's just say we've already beaten you to your knees and sang, Conquer, Dot. Okay. That's it. Su Chen didn't intend to mess around with these guys anymore, it didn't mean much. You guys clean up the office. From now on, the office won't be so dirty, messy, or messy. A few people didn't dare to say anything, hurry up and tidy up. Soon, the office became clean and tidy. The fitness man beside him secretly approached Su Chen. Chen Gu, my name is Tian Yong. Why are you so talented? Can you teach me? Zhang Yu and the other three quickly approached. Su Chen said, that's because you're too weak. No, I'm super fierce. I'm the signature of our fierce male trio, said Tian Yong, revealing his biceps. Su Chen smiled and said, just two minutes in bed, still super strong. Tian Yong's face turned red with embarrassment when someone revealed his secret. Ha ha ha. Brother Yong, you only have two minutes. Ha ha ha. Zhang Yu laughed. The fat man also burst into laughter. Su Chen looked at Zhang Yu and the chubby guy and said, It seems like you two won't be able to pass three minutes without taking your medicine, right? Zhang Yu and the chubby guy were momentarily stunned and embarrassed. The group of three fierce men is clearly the kidney deficiency squad. Su Chen's roast made the three more embarrassed, but there was a little surprise in their eyes. Chen Gu, do you still understand medical skills? Do you think I'm fine? asked the little girl. Su Chen said, isn't it considered a problem to have dysmenorrhea that causes rolling pain? The little girl was stunned and then excitedly asked, Brother Chen, you are so amazing. Can you cure it? Su Chen nodded. Can you treat me? The little girl became excited. Sure. Speaking, Su Chen directly took out a silver needle and treated little sister. Her problem is simple and easy to handle. All right. Next time, it won't hurt anymore. However, in the future, it's better to stay barefoot. Mmm. -hmm. The little girl exclaimed excitedly, I feel it. My lower abdomen is no longer cold but rather warm. Thank you, Brother Chen. The other three men quickly ran over and hugged Su Chen, saying, Big Brother, please treat me. Su Chen agreed to help them prepare some medicine when she has time. For a moment, all of them became fans of Su Chen. Su Chen gave a faint smile. 
If Zhou Wanshou knew that her confidant had become his younger brother, she wouldn't know what expression it would be. End of this chapter Chapter 9 Handsome and Persuasive Combination You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Handsome and Persuasive Combination The door to the Secretariat office needs to be reopened. A few employees came in and curiously looked at Su Chen. Su Chen just sat at the desk in the corner and didn't say much. What are you looking at? Hurry up and get busy with you guys. If you're not honest in the future, that's the end. Zhang Yu pointed at Su Chen and said arrogantly. A few employees quickly went back and sat down. Zhang Yu secretly apologized to Su Chen by clenching his fists while everyone was not paying attention. On the other side. Office of the President. Zhou Wanxiu called Li Fengjiao into the office. Did anything happen after you sent that Su Chen to the secretary's office? Zhou Wanxiu asked. Li Fengjiao said, as soon as I left, Zhang Yu kicked out the other employees. Later, I heard that Su Chen seemed to have been beaten and knelt on the ground singing, Conquer, Dot. Mr. Zhou, if you don't like Su Chen, why would you let him be your secretary? Zhou Wanxiu glanced at Li Fengjiao and she quickly closed her mouth. Don't inquire about things that you shouldn't have asked about. Zhou Wanxiu's tone was shy and annoyed. Su Chen is her own husband, and she can't say how she is. After asking Li Fengjiao to go out, Zhou Wanxiu called Zhang Yu. Zhang Yu, on the other hand, exaggerates how he teaches Su Chen. A faint smile appeared on Zhou Wanxiu's face. All right. Don't go too far either, just give Su Chen some hard work. Zhang Yu smiled and said, Don't worry, I promise to complete the task. Hang up the phone. Su Chen, I'll see when you can't stand it. Take the initiative to tell my grandfather to go back. Zhou Wanxiu snorted coldly. On the other side. Secretariat office. The morning passed, and Su Chen felt a bit bored. The secretariat has nothing to do either. Even if there is errand work, it is mostly done by those honest employees. Originally, several senior employees wanted to woo Su Chen to join them, thinking that they also had newcomers to bully. But he was scolded by Zhang Yu, saying that Su Chen was the exclusive younger brother of their kidney deficiency team. A few honest employees could only show sympathy to Su Chen with pitiful eyes. Su Chen felt a bit amused. Zhang Yu is a silver-haired killer who enjoys playing games and gossiping. Fatty Guy is Lu Pan, an internet dating expert and a veteran licking dog. The fitness guru's name is Tian Yong, he has a straightforward personality, loves fitness and martial arts, and dreams of becoming a hero. There's also a little girl, Su Jiao, with a simple mind and no bad intentions. Su Chen has already recognized all these people. Although they may be quite dandy, they are not malicious individuals. Lunch time. Su Chen, come with us for lunch, Zhang Yu shouted casually. Su Chen smiled and stood up. Throughout the morning, Su Chen had already gained some understanding of Zhou Wanxiu's company. Zhou's catering group started out as a catering company. Now in Binchang, in addition to fast food chains, there are also independent restaurants and food factories of its own, and it has also contracted the canteens of many companies and factories. It can be considered as one of the leading catering groups in Binchang. Within the Zhou Catering Group, there are also canteens. Su Chen and Zhang Yu sat at a dining table together. The other employees around seemed to also know these goods and avoided them far away. Su Chen is somewhat speechless about these goods. However, Zhang Yu and others were completely unaware. Chen Gu, our three strong men team has been upgraded to four people and will need to change its name. Let's call it. Let's call it the handsome and compelling combination. Zhang Yu looked excited. Su Chen glanced at Zhang Yu and said, Handsome and compelling. So, am I handsome? I am angry. Zhang Yu Dao. I am human, the chubby man quickly replied. I am. T. 
Tian Yong almost said, his face suddenly collapsed. On the side, Su Jiao laughed uncontrollably, ha ha ha. The relationship between a few people quickly became good. Look, Mr. Zhou is here. Everyone turned around to look. I saw Zhou Wanxiu with a cold and domineering face, stepping into the cafeteria. She glanced first, and many employees lowered their heads. Zhou Wanxiu stepped forward and walked toward Su Chen's table. Zhang Yu immediately started performing. Su Chen, if I ask you to cook, will you serve me this dish? I think you don't want to mess around, do you still want to sing, conquer, dot? Zhang Yuji is tall and full of energy. Zhang Yu, what are you doing? Zhou Wanxiu's voice rang out in time. Chiu Jie, he he, we are teaching newcomers how to do things. Zhang Youlian hurriedly said. Su Chen felt a bit amused in her heart. This picture is really a good material for being a double. Sided spy. Zhou Wanxiu smiled slightly at the corner of her mouth and looked at Su Chen. As a result, I didn't see the humiliation and anger I wanted to see. This country bumpkin can't bear it too much. Zhou Wanxiu thought to herself. Su Chen, come with me. Zhou Wanxiu called Su Chen to a corner. Su Chen, I heard they bullied you. Zhou Wanxiu looked concerned. This woman is really a playwright. No, Su Chen replied with a smile in her heart but in Zhou Wanxiu's eyes, Su Chen was just trying to save face and suffer. Zhou Wanxiu looked helpless. If it were someone else, I would handle it a bit better. But these few people are all the nephews of the company's top management, and I have no choice. If they continue to bully you every day in the future, you can go home and stay. Let's talk about it later. Su Chen finished speaking and turned back. Zhou Wanxiu's lips curved into a faint smile. Stepping on high heels, leaving. Chen Gu, what is Chiu Jia looking for from you? What is your relationship? Zhang Yu has a gossipy expression on his face. Let's have your meal. Su Chen was too lazy to bother him. A few people eat together and talk nonsense. Su Chen also gained a lot of knowledge about Zhou's catering group through these products. Suddenly, a commotion came from outside the cafeteria. Zhang Yu, who is so lively, put down the dishes and quickly ran out to take a look. Quickly, he came back and shouted, Brothers, that shameless He Junying is here again, harassing Sister Chiu. Harassing my wife. Su Chen was taken aback for a moment. A few people quickly walked out of the restaurant. Only then did I realize that the restaurant entrance was already filled with roses and candles. A young man in a suit and leather shoes, wearing golden glasses, stood in the center. Across from him stood a cold, beautiful, and charming woman. It's none other than Su Chen's wife, Zhou Wanxiu. Su Chen's eyes narrowed. Isn't Zhou Wanxiu gay? Why are there still men chasing after me? This man with glasses has a rhythm of wearing a hat for himself. Damn it! This bastard is doing this again. Zhan Yu spat fiercely. Who is this person? Su Chen asked. Zhan Yu quickly introduced, He Junying, the son of He Jintian, the CEO of his catering group. Their family is already in a competitive relationship with us, causing us obstacles everywhere. However, He Junying always wants to catch up with late autumn sister, without looking at his own character. Strolling nightclubs, picking up girls, and building a good family every day, the reputation is so bad. Now, wanting to have both people and money is just a dream. In the flower bushes. He Junying blocked Zhou Wanxiu. Late autumn, my love for you can be seen from the heavens. Your family is engaged in catering, and my family is also engaged in catering. Let's unite and sweep across Bincheng, cross provincial capitals, and go global. Once my family obtains the bid for the new factory of Tianhao Group, we can also distribute a portion to your family. Just accept me. Faced with He Junying's persistent beating, Zhou Wanxiu looked disgusted. He Junying, 
I will take over the new factory project of Tianhao Group on my own, without the need for he to distribute it to us. What are you pursuing me for? You know it in your heart. I'm not interested in you, nor am I interested in working with your family. The smile on He Junying's face slowly solidified. He he. You don't care about your face, do you? Today, I insist on being with you. Speaking, He Junying pushed forward directly. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Talking with Milk and Milk. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 10 Talking with Milk and Milk Show Wanshou's face changed. Security Guard Suddenly, more than ten security guards rushed forward. Hee hee, security guard. Ah Lang, Ah Hu, give them some color to see. Behind He Junying, two men in black stood up. They casually threw out their steel sticks and their bodies flickered. In less than half a minute, all the security guards fell to the ground, groaning in pain. Other employees, quickly retreat. Zhou Wanxiu's face changed. Zhou Wanxiu, do you see? Ah Lang, Ah Hu, my second uncle's men have seen blood. You useless dim sum. I said if I want to take you today, I will take you. He Junying exclaimed arrogantly. Zhou Wanxiu suddenly panicked. He Junying's second uncle is He Xinlong, the leader of the underground power Black Dragon Society in Bincheng, a true ruthless person. His subordinates are not something ordinary security guards can handle. He Junying is pressing step by step. Zhou Wanxiu was a bit flustered. At this moment, a playful sound sounded. Who is this so unethical, throwing garbage all over the ground? A figure walked out with a broom and swept the petals on the ground aside. It's Su Chen. Zhou Wanxiu was taken aback for a moment. He Junying's face instantly darkened, stinky kid, did you intentionally seek death? Ah Lang, Ah Hu, teach him a lesson. Let him know the consequences of meddling. Two black bodyguards sneered and rushed toward Su Chen. Su Chen, run quickly. He dare not touch me. Zhou Wanxiu quickly called out. But Su Chen welcomed her with a smile. Zhou Wanxiu cursed, are you foolish? Suddenly, her words stopped at the edge of her mouth. Because she saw that Su Chen picked up a broom and slapped the black bodyguard twice. The two bodyguards stood motionless like fools, allowing Su Chen to knock on their heads. Pounce! Pounce! The two were knocked unconscious on the ground. The people around me looked silly. He Junying was taken aback. What happened to Ah Hu and Ah Lang? Su Chen approached with a broom, and He Junying suddenly felt a little scared. He quickly retreated and said, What are you doing? My father is He Jintian from He Group, and my second uncle is He Xinlong. What do you want to do? Su Chen smiled and said, Don't be afraid, I'm not doing anything. I just want to remind you that you've ruined your body and won't even harden without taking medicine. So don't chase girls everywhere. Ha ha ha. The crowd erupted into a burst of laughter. Zhou Wanxiu also had a pretty face and a flying glow, spat and cursed softly, rogue. He Junying's face immediately turned red and he angrily cursed, you. You bastard. He became angry with embarrassment and rushed directly toward Su Chen. Su Chen casually flicked the broom, secretly poked He Junying, and then whipped him away. Speaking of you, you still don't believe it. You're such a big person, you still wet your pants. He Junying lowered his head and saw that his pants were already wet. Suddenly felt both shy and angry. Hurry up and get out. Take the two garbage you brought with you, too. Su Chen said calmly. He Junying's mouth was bloodshot and his face showed malice. Okay, you guys wait for me. Then, he quickly left. Zhang Yu and four others immediately gathered around. Chen Gu, you're amazing. You're too fierce. Chen, you're going to teach me Kung Fu. 
They had already witnessed Su Chen's bravery in the morning. I just didn't expect that even underground experts like Ah Lang and Ah who were not opponents of Su Chen. At this moment, a cold voice sounded. Chen Gu. Zhang Yu. Why haven't I heard of it? You even recognized a big brother. Zhou Wanshou's eyes were cold. Fuck me. It's exposed. Zhang Yu trembled and looked at Zhou Wanshou with a bitter expression on his face. I was so excited just now that I forgot that Zhou Wanshou was right next to me. At this moment, Zhou Wanshou's face was full of anger. She looked at Zhang Yu and others with an awkward expression, feeling extremely angry in her heart. Looking at Su Chen again, she felt even more embarrassed. Just before lunch, Su Chen must have known that he had arranged for Zhang Yu to teach him a lesson. As a result, I ran over and pretended to care about him. This bastard must be laughing at himself in his heart. Zhou Wanxiu felt like a clown. In an instant, an unnamed fire came up. Su Chen, who made you hit someone? He Juniying is the young master of his catering group. You are making enemies for our group. Punish you half a month's salary. Also, clean up this place. After venting her anger, Zhou Wanxiu turned around and left. She was afraid of walking slowly, so she couldn't hide the embarrassment on her face. Is this woman sick? Su Chen roast. Although I helped her, I couldn't help but be deducted from my salary and punished for cleaning. Zhang Yu and others did not dare to answer Su Chen's roast. Chen, let's sweep. You just need to rest. Tian Yong stepped forward to express his loyalty. He loves practicing martial arts the most. Now, Su Chen is his idol. Finally, Zhang Yu, Lu Pan, and Tian Yong helped Su Chen clean up. On the other side, He Juniying returned to the territory of the Second Uncle Black Dragon Club with a face full of resentment. Wow! He Juniying kicked the table over directly. He cursed incessantly, bitch. I've been whispering to her a few times, and she dares to do this to me. You two are also useless, making people knock you unconscious directly. And that bastard, he dares to hit me, I must kill him. On the sofa next to him sat a man with a fierce face, and it was Uncle He Juniying. He Zhenlong, the leader of the Black Dragon Society, an underground force in Bincheng. Xiaoying, calm down. I asked Ah Hu and Ah Lang, and they said they were careless. They didn't guard against that kid taking action so quickly. Besides, since it's not soft enough, why don't we use hard ones? He Zhenlong said lightly. He Juniying asked, Second uncle, how did you come to be tough? He Zhenlong exhaled his cigarette for a long time. It's very simple. I'll send someone directly to help you tie Zhou Wanxiu up, give her some medicine to force her to sleep, and then take some photos. Anyway, the third generation of the Zhou family only has this daughter. If you hold on to her handle, then you won't be able to resist Zhou Pingjiang and Zhou Rongchang. Her family's Zhou catering group is not going to belong to you yet. Then, there's no need to argue with the Zhou family about the Tianhao group's new factory project. This is He Zhenlong's consistent approach. He Juniying's face changed and he finally nodded. Okay. This slut, give her face no, then give her something hard. As for the employee in her company, wait until I finish tidying up Zhou Wanxiu, and then slowly mess with him. He originally intended to pretend to be a gentleman and use romantic means to win next week's late autumn. But now it seems that it is clearly not feasible. That's good, then don't pretend. Showdown. He Juniying's face showed a malicious smile. He was already imagining what kind of posture to use to educate Zhou Wanxiu when she was caught. On the other side, Su Chen returned to the secretariat office. Suddenly, I received a strange phone call. Hello, dear, have you missed me? Su Chen was taken aback and said, Did you make a mistake? The sweet female voice across from her asked, Is that Su Chen? Su Chen was even more puzzled, It's me, 
who are you? You heartless person, you looked at them, touched them, ate them dry, wiped them clean, and left. It's bad or bad? Qin Yao Yao. Su Chen asked. He he. Did you hear the milky sound in someone else's voice? Shen's milk-like voice and breath. Your chest is big, and you have the the final say. Su Chen's eyebrows furrowed slightly. What does this woman want to do? End of this chapter.